Hi, I'm Rachel Ballinger and welcome back to my channel where I test things so you don't have to. Today, we're doing another segment of The Internet Made Me Buy It because I'm on the internet a lot and then they just show me products and I go, I want it. So we're gonna get it and then we got it. And now I have it and now we're gonna test it. Okay, I'll show you what we got. Number one, the lazy person's snacking device, Nut Flowy. Mm -hmm. This is a water bottle with two different compartments so you can have two different drinks at the same time. Sometimes I want to sipple a nice coffee, sometimes I want to sipple some water. You don't know what I want to sipple. Now I have options. Number three, the sunset, sunset, sunset. The sunset lamp where it puts a sunset on your wall. Indoors, where naturally you'd see a sunset on your wall. Chocolate toothpaste. Because some people want to watch the world burn. Okay, I'm actually excited about this one. This is a reading lamp. Okay, I read in bed, right? I picture this. I'm in bed and I'm laying down and I'm reading. The lights are off. How do I see my book? I have a little lamp, but sometimes it's so hard to clip onto things. This, you lay it on the page and it lights up the page. Lastly, a mini safe that you can go with you and like when you go to the beach and or traveling and you can clip it onto stuff and people can't seal your things inside of it. Let's test them. <laughs> All right, first up is the snacker. So this is so you put your snacks in here and you never have to touch them with your hands. So if you're working on a computer, you just go open this and they fall out into your mouth. All right, so if you're on an airplane, if you're working, whatever, you can't get your fingers crossed, this makes it easier. So you just unhook this. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Snap it back on and then, These are so hard. These are from like 10 months ago. You don't know how much you're gonna get. It's really a mystery. Oh, okay. There's a few flaws. One, it only spits small snacks. Like I don't think you'd get a full Cheeto out of there. That's a pretty small little hole. Let's set the scene. Oh, I'm working. I'm working really hard. I can't get my hands dirty. It didn't close, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. I refuse to chew these. Working, working, working. Pop, pop, pop. It works. Candy corn? My only flaw is this is a really tiny thing. You could literally only do like M&Ms, candy corns, Skittles. I don't think you could do a great deal with it. Next product. Uh, can we talk about how dirty that is? Um, okay, so I might have to wash this, but here you go. It's literally just a cup split in half. Let's go clean and fill. You don't need to fill me cleaning it. Oh, this is annoying to clean. You can't clean it. Emily, congratulations for turning that camera on because it showed something. I wonder if you would stick it in the dishwasher. You didn't use any soap. There was soap involved in all of this, except these two parts, because th my lips don't touch these. I don't need your judgment. Turn the camera off. <laughs> so it's rinsed. Let's decide that it's rinsed instead of cleaned. All right, I'm gonna pour half with my iced coffee. Why is that really satisfying to look at? Like the split? Now let's fill the other half with water. I'm so into this. Okay, so other than this being like super cool to look at, I'm like fascinated. It's like washing a fish tank. I'm really, I'm obsessed with it. Let's see how it, how it do. She do good. Oh, my iced coffee has made me so parched. Oh, that's nice. Now let's test to see how spill proof this is. No nope, coffee is getting in the water, which I'm actually really surprised by. This is cool. <coughs> yeah, uh, the only thing is how to clean it. I'm gonna look up on Amazon to see if it can go in the dishwasher. Product care instructions. Machine wash, comma, hand wash only. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's saying don't machine wash, hand wash only. That is the one flaw with this bad boy. But if you're someone who like needs two drinks at a time but are willing to cut the amount of each drink in half, here you go. I want, I want 
almost there. There. Welcome to Storytime with Rachel. Today we're reading The Hatchet. Does it work? You can't see anything. Wait, hold it, hold it. Yes. Okay. <gasps> Look at this. By the way, we're in my unfinished bathroom. <laughs> This is the only room we have without a giant window in it. So here we go. <gasps> Look at this, and like, oh, like, it's too bright, it's too bright. Just turn it down. Oh my goodness, you can read in secret. Or in brightness. Okay, so maybe the little swishy thing has broken. And there it is. This, I actually think is way better because you can like switch sides. I love this. I mean, yeah, it's like, and it flickers, but like if you, Take a moment, feel her upright, get her in the spot. You're vibing, you're good. And then like, also, hello, book holder. It just holds it. Boom, cause let me show you what I also have. Come outside, adjust your eyes. My beautiful friend Zara, she got me this cute little reading lamp because it gives you an orange light. So it's supposed to like not hurt your eyes or disturb if you have a partner sleeping next to you. I love this, but my issue is if you're trying to put it on the book, it's so clumsy that like it bends and you're like trying to, it's just, it's difficult. Like it's constantly just wanting to just fall over. I love the light, but unless I can stick it like on a thing up here and have it here for me, it's no bueno. This though, it's just holding your book. I really like this. Oh, I feel like a girl boss. Back to the scary bathroom. Okay, turn off the light in. What? What the is the point of this? Oh my goodness! The sun is rising! In the south! What the is the point now? I'm tired of this stupid Instagram aesthetic bullshit. This is a flashlight! Now it's a lamp! I hate this. What's the point? Like, listen, if you're a lamp, be a lamp. Don't lie and say you're a sunrise. Gemini's. I'll give you a little sneak peek so you can see how tough it is. It's not as tough as me. Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh. We put something in this. My sunglasses. My sunglasses. Now, it's time to lock this to something so no one can seal it. Go ahead. Try and steal it, Emily. Say action. Action. Whoa. Something pretty expensive must be in there. Guess I'll take it home. Not today! Thief did it. <laughs> Emily couldn't get it out, but I can using my secret code zero 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 zero. And now it's a purse. I could see how this could work, as long as you have something to attach it to that also can't be stolen. Bleachers, if you're playing pickup game, that's fine. If you're going camping or something, put it to a tree. You have to be smart as to what you clip it to. It's got some space, it's not huge, but it can fit like two phones or something, no phone and a wallet. It'll fit keys. Not if you're a janitor, what are you doing? It's pepper spray. Keys and phone. All right, well, I think we're good here. And then look at you do this thing, wrap it around. It sticks into this. That's pretty fancy. Okay, that's it. I don't know what his deal is. Thought I was done and then sadly I am not. Fluoride free toothpaste, chocolate flavored. Let's go. This is either gonna be the worst or best thing of my entire life. It's tan. Okay. 
It smells like fake chocolate. Oh, it smells so bad. Here we go. Okay, it's not super strong in taste. I didn't want to vomit. There was like waves of flavor that happened. First, it was like, I taste nothing. And then it tasted like really bad chocolate. And then it tasted like nothing again. <laughs> Does my breath smell fresh? Come here. It's not like a Tootsie Pop. If you hate mint flavored and want to smell like a Tootsie Pop, then chocolate toothpaste is for you. <laughs> I think I liked it. I don't feel clean. You know, like you brush teeth and you're like, ah. I'm fresh. I feel like I need to go brush my teeth because I taste like chocolate. It says for kids, let's ignore that fact. All right, do the outro. All right, well that was it for today. I felt like today was a fast video. Most of these products worked. I mean, they all worked. The sun was just stupid and the toothpaste didn't make me feel good about life. But other than that, everything actually works. So thank you, internet, for providing me with new fun things to own and have and use. That's it for today, though. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed and you're doing the notification button so you get notified when I post. Sometimes YouTube doesn't like to tell people when I post, though, so... I don't know if it's actually gonna help you at all. Also, make sure you check out my vlog channel, my podcast channel, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my TikTok. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!